going back to a couple of years ago, one of the opportunities we saw was in the context of WhatsApp, an app that was used by almost everyone on the internet in India, uh, you know, used throughout the day. We wanted to make sure that without losing the essence of what WhatsApp is, where private messaging is at the, the heart of the proposition that WhatsApp has to offer to users, we thought there was still an opportunity for WhatsApp to be used for businesses to engage with consumers. And the first big opportunity that we identified was the partnership with GeoMart, where we believe that there's an opportunity to bring the 16 million odd small businesses in India, many of them the Kirana stores across the country uh, into the digital world. In many ways, they haven't benefited from this big shift to online commerce that we have seen in India over the last few years. They haven't benefited from all of the digitization that's happened, mm. and yet all of their consumers are already online, and they are at the end of, of, of WhatsApp. Uh, uh, and, and therefore, with all the work that Geo is doing mm. to digitize the Kirana store, to build the retail network through GeoMart, we thought there was a uh, amazing opportunity to connect the dots and make it easy to order from within WhatsApp to a Kirana store on the GeoMart network. So very quickly, I just want to get a little bit more color on that uh, GeoMart integration. You said that it's an opportunity to get 60 million small businesses online. Uh, but from what I hear from you, it's likely to be a phased out approach. So what should we expect realistically in terms of milestones in phase one? I think... Uh, we are in it for the long term, uh, and and uh, both from what we are doing in India, Shireen, but even in terms of our partnership with Geo, uh, as you know, about 18 months ago, uh, we made an investment. But more importantly, what we committed between the two companies is we will work together to fundamentally open up the canvas uh, for the ecosystem as a whole, uh, which will throw up opportunities for consumers, for small businesses, and frankly, for other companies and partners as well. So we're, we're really thinking about this for the long term. So we're not looking at this as what can we do in the next two, three months. We're going to do it deliberately. We're going to do it very, very carefully. And a lot of the investment and time and energy and product development over the last 18 months have been about how do we make it easy for consumers to order from within WhatsApp? Ajit, let me address the education issue because you said that that is going to be a, a key use case as far as the metaverse is concerned. Uh, now, I, I believe that there is a partnership that uh, you are inking with CBSE to train 10 million students and 1 million teachers in AR and VR. How is that going to work? Uh, when does this kick start? Uh, can you lend a little more, more color on that front? Uh, absolutely, Shireen. Uh, we started working with CBSE uh, about a year ago, Shireen, and, and the idea was how do we contribute to STEM education in the country uh, through the power of, of the particularly special role that CBSE plays in education in India? And we started working on the agenda of STEM wellness, as well as how do you build AR capacity and awareness among students? We were very pleasantly surprised by uh, the first set of numbers that came in. I think we had, we touched more than 35,000, uh, uh, 350,000 students, although the objective was uh, far less than that. And therefore, both uh, CBSC and, and Meta uh, saw this as an opportunity fundamentally to scale the program and, and, and train students and teachers uh, to understand the power of AR, as well as in classes 9 to 12, even find ways to use AR in the curriculum itself. Mm. And, and, and I, I think you can imagine uh, uh, Shireen, that people who are in standard one today or even standard nine today, yeah. the world that they're going to enter, even the, you know, the colleges that uh, when they enter colleges or when they enter the workforce, the world is going to look quite different. And, and I do think this is a bet to make sure that they're introduced early into disruptive technologies that are surfacing today, including a lot of work that we're doing in AR that will become the norm by the time they enter the workforce, which is why we have set a, a pretty ambitious goal for ourselves in terms of uh, uh, scaling and training 1 million teachers and 10 million students. Uh, and we are really grateful to have a partner like CBSE who, who really has the wisdom to make this a part of their curriculum uh, and their way of learning uh, so early. I think this is ahead 
even when you look at education around the world.